Hey guys, Blue Commander here, and welcome back to another video. Now today I've got two more plugins to show everyone from Bling Edit. So I'm actually going to show the installation in this video, as hopefully you get the idea. If you don't, just go into the description, you'll find my website there, and then you just have to put it in your world data pack folder. If you don't know what you're doing, check out my previous plugins video, and I explained it in there. But once you've done that, we have to do slash reload, and I'll quickly show you what they are. If I select a region quickly, click plugin. Here they are. First one I added was patterns, so patterns build one, and I also added region info build one. I also had a couple of updates to uh, water flood and forester. I don't know if I'll show those in this video. I might quickly go over them at the end, but first let's go over the new ones. So if I select a region, I'll show region info first because that's less exciting. So region info, it's quite a small plugin, but it's pretty helpful. So if I select a region here, and if I now go plugin region info basically what it does is i can choose any block and it'll tell me how many how much of that blocks in the region so i can choose air or i can choose any block so if i set block i can go birch log for example and i'll scan the region and it says information gathered there are 19 in your selection so or i could do if i press region info again i could press the air button and it says there's 5,143 air blocks in this region. So there's 6,069 blocks in total in the region because you can see that from the volume. That's not part of my plugin, that's just part of Bling Edit 1.05, I think it is. So yeah, that's the region info plugin. It's pretty small. The main one I've been working on is patterns. So if I quickly select a small little region, I'll start small. I'll go like this. So we've got our little region here. If I click plugin and then I click patterns, as you can see, we've got this nice little menu here. So in the menu, oh, I forgot to do this. I'll change that. In here, we have change X, change Y, and change Z. So here's some little ticks. You can press these and it'll change between a tick and a cross. So it's gonna be quite hard to explain, but essentially, I'll just, if you have all of them, for example, I press run, it's going to say, I can either choose block, I can choose air, or I can try to remember it from my previous operation. So if I choose a block, I'm going to choose stone. It's going to ask for a second block. If I choose the second block, I could choose bricks. And as you can see, when I had all it alternated between them, because when I have a change in every direction, I'm facing the Z right now, so it's, it's changed. If I face in the X, it's changed. And if I go up and down in the Y, it's also changed. However, if I just select a region here, a bit of a bigger one, and I go patterns, and then I go, I'll go Y and Z, for example, and this time of air as one, and the other I'll remember my previous selection. And as you can see, in the Y and Z, it changed in the Z direction. Oh, sorry, it's changed in the Z direction here. So as you can see, it went from bricks to air, bricks being the one which it remembered, and it also changes in the Y. However, in the X, this way, it stays the same one. So using this, you can create some cool little patterns. If I create a massive selection here, and I go plug in, patterns, say I'd had just change in Y, then you'd find it'd be a bit like layers. So I'll just do, uh, it's hard to think of things, beacon, why not? And the other one I'll have, I'll just do bricks again, why not? So it's going to take a while, as you can see, it does have the progress bar, I've implemented that. And it'll take a little while because it's a big selection, but once it's finished, if you bear with it. And by the way, uh, a how to make a bling edit plugin episode 2 should be coming out in a couple of days. So look forward to that as well. I think this is finished now. So as you can see, because I only had change in Y, it's now alternated between that, but the X and Z layers have stayed the same. So it's really fun to mess around with, see what you can make. And yeah, that's those. So as I think we've got time, I'll quickly show you the updates to my other two plugins. So I didn't do an update to Topsoil because someone else is already working on a Topsoil, like version 4 I think he's on now. And I don't really want to like make a war between our plugins and stuff like that. So I just left that, I'm no longer working on that one. But I did do a small update to Waterfly, and quite a large one to Forrester. So if I select this region, I can do plugin, if I do Forester, as you can see, it's quite cool. Now it's got a nice new menu. As variant, I can change between spruce, birch, all the different tree variants. 
as you can see it's bold depending on which one you've got selected which is quite cool so I'll do birch for example you can also change the densi density of the forest as a percentage so by default it's 8% so if I click change density it'll pop up with this uh, text message here it says click here to change the density percentage or you can cancel if I press cancel the message will just disappear but if I click here it'll put this command into my chat and I just have to write a number between 0 and 100 if I go over it it'll jump back down so say I went like a thousand it'll go back down to a hundred percent it automatically snaps back into the range so say I did I'll just do a hundred percent for example purposes and as you can see it's updated in chat I can also choose this is an existing feature the placement whether it wants to be on grass or on all blocks except leaves to prevent tree stacking and if I have a hundred percent it's going to be literally everywhere possible so it's going to be a regular arrangement of trees or if I do like zero percent no will none will appear at all so say I just do birch for example and I click run at 100% you're going to find trees literally everywhere where it can fit them. So yeah that's everywhere it could fit a tree. And now I'll try to find a better region to explain this. Let's do it here. So if I select this and I go here. So if I press the forester button here and then I can choose, I'll choose jungles time for example, and I'll I'll put it back down to a lower percentage, I'll put it to 40%. You didn't really get a good look at the, uh, the regular arrangement I was talking about with 100%, but if you go into a super flat world and make a selection, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's completely just a row of trees. If I go, I'll go on all blocks, so we can have some on the stone here. If I press run, as you can see, there's a lot of trees. The percentage is on that balance, so 8% is the default, and even then it's quite a lot. So bearing in mind this is testing every single block where it finds which is a possible spot, and then it'll basically run the percentage chance. So it's a bit of randomized, basically. So 40%, so you have a 40% chance of every single spot having a tree, pretty much. So it's pretty dense most of the time. So the majority of the times you'll probably want to be below 10%. But as you can see, it's quite cool. I mean, it doesn't really look that much like a jungle forest, but it could be like its own new type of forest, who knows. So yeah, that's the forest of plugin update. I'm no longer going to make any updates to water flood, topsoil, or forester, because I want to work on other plugins and my tutorial series. So please don't make any more suggestions for those two. But I'd actually love to see some for the placement plugin or if you have any for the other one that'd be appreciated if you have any brand new ideas for me to do I'll also do those but I'll quickly show water flood I think I forgot to show that it's pretty basic feature if I just select a point there and it's just another option if I go water flood there's also a brand new drain region so basically the reverse of these two so if I drain it it's gonna get rid of all the water in the region so as you can see, if I reload my chunks, my chunks are glitching a bit. As you can see, all the water has been drained in this region. So it's good. Say you had a river you didn't want, or say you had a, a whole ocean. This is possible with the replace normal tool you get in Bling Edit. However, I thought I may as well include it into this plugin once I've already started making it. And also because someone else suggested a draining plugin, but I just thought I'd put it inside this one. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is for this update and these brand new plugins. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to try it out. Tweet me at, at It's Blue Command if you have any cool things you created with them. I'd love to see. Or on the Reddit or whatever you like. I'll put the Reddit link in the description as well as the manual. If you want to download Bling Edit and you've never seen it before. Or you'd just like to find some other people's plugins from the Reddit. But that's all for now. Thanks for spending some of your time with me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.